Hello, and thanks for checking out the video. Today I'm going to try and catch some views. Things have warmed up. And we're in a westerly flow at the moment, and uh, it's been constant sort of gales and strong winds and heavy rain, so everything's saturated. Um, I haven't been able to get out either, which uh, makes the whole thing worse. And uh, I'm going to start off with one that I went to see midsummer, an ancient monument, a uh, sacred monument really. Everything's a bit squelchy today, but last time I was here, about six months ago, it was a glorious midsummer's evening, and the sunset was spectacular, and the views to die for. Take that as my second view today. Number three is actually a 360 degree panorama. There's the sea. Such a vibrant green.
Right, we're on the hurry up now because it's starting to rain. This is going to be a struggle.
I've been gasping for a cup of tea, um, but when I arrived, it just started this horrible misty rain uh, and everything was getting sopping wet. So I just rushed to put the shelter up and um, had to use two wax discs to light the fire. I knew I would. I haven't got my large knife, so I can baton down thicker stuff to, to find the inner drier parts. I just had to get as dry as twigs as I could find which they weren't really dry they were actually dripping um, so yeah I, I threw in an extra wax disc um, as the other one died off and at that point it just seemed to have steamed off and dried most of the twigs and so luckily it caught uh, yeah but it's a bit of a struggle with the fire and uh, yeah a little bit of a rush really to get the shelter up and keep reasonably dry <laughs> The top half of the uh, salt barn seems to be letting by, uh, I'm not sure why. Of course it's put out my fire pretty much. Strange. I had to use a, another wax disc to try and get the fire going. Try to stack the timber around it to dry it out. It's still really struggling the fire. That's better.
doesn't seem to be letting by anymore unless the fire is just drying out the drips now. Well, the rain has dropped off a bit and um, the wind has picked up and the wind has helped the fire to get it going. I'm trying to use the heat of the fire to dry out some of the sticks. Three wax discs to get the fire going today. That's the worst record. Tonight it's uh, vegetable kebabs on uh, quinoa. So I've got these uh, skewers here and I'm just going to try and the best I can thread these vegetables onto it. And I've got a bit of uh, sort of basting sauce that I knocked up at home. And I've even got a cut down artist brush to, to um, baste the uh, vegetables while they cook, hopefully. Hopefully everything behaves itself. I've got uh, five of these little uh, vegetable kebabs, so we'll see how that goes. I'll put the uh, quinoa on now. Cover that with water. And then we'll try and dis disperse these kebabs around the fireplace, perhaps something like that. Um, get them slowly cooking. I'm not sure if you can see this, but um, I've had to bring the phone inside it was just getting too wet for it outside so i'm sort of trying to film from within the shelter uh, and as the shelter is quite small that's uh, not so easy so it's probably not the best kind of filming here the fire's been rather intermittent shall we say um you know, it's, it's cooking all right now, but then it dies down a bit when some more wet timber goes on and the kebabs sort of go on a pause mode for a while. Um, the quinoa is nearly done. Feel like an artist. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's the quinoa done. So I'm going to start to load up some of the veg into that pot. Lots of flavour in the veg, definitely. The sauce that I was painting on it was just um, vegetable oil, obviously, but I uh, mixed through it some ketchup and some soy sauce. It seems to um, sort of flavour up the vegetables quite nicely in a, in a barbecue scenario.
was a rather disturbed night. Um, it, was all, it was all about keeping the fire going really. And um, with the timber being so wet, you know, it was um, every hour or so it was a case of making a bit of an effort, you know, blowing the fire back to life, throwing a few sticks on uh, and try and get it going again. I mean, it wasn't that cold. I don't think the temperature probably dropped below 10 degrees centigrade. Maybe it did, I, I doubt it. But it, the, the wind has really picked up and when you've got an open shelter like this, sometimes it can be a bit drafty. And it was a bit drafty, so yeah, it was important to keep the fire going. Um, and cold feet was a problem as well, actually, because it's always the same. You know, I sleep with the feet down at the lower end of the shelter, and um, it's the cold end. That's the cold end of the shelter, so, uh, you know, I have to think about perhaps lying across the front of the shelter so I get some heat from the fire spread across more of my body really. Yeah, but all in all, not too bad.